Hi, welcome. I am making cinnamon rolls today. I have had the dough in my bread machine. Yes, I'm a lazy bottom. I make my dough in the bread machine. I'll give you the recipe in the, res in the description box at the end. And I have made the filling for the cinnamon rolls. It's two cups of sugar with four tablespoons of butter, cinnamon, two teaspoons, and then the secret ingredient. Of course, I put a tablespoon of molasses in my center instead of brown sugar. But let's get going on getting this dough into the oven. So I just take it out, of course, of the bread machine pan. And I'm going to lightly quickly oil my surface. I forgot to do that. I'm just going to quickly just a bit of oil. I just use sunflower oil just to prevent my dough from sticking. Some people put the butter on but I just mix it with my brown sugar and I melt it in the microwave. There's nothing more to it than that. I try to keep it easy. Let me just get the best of the spoon here. And now we're just going to take it slowly and just cover the surface. And now, putting it together. Just gently fold the, the first edge over. And then I start again here and I just work it, don't push on it, just roll it, folding it, I think that's the proper word, folding it. And then just the end there, I just tuck under. And I line it up, whoops, that's running away. Let's stuff it there. We can't miss any bit of sugar. I have lightly oiled my pan and I've measured that I can get about 12 nice big size cinnamon rolls in there. So I'm going to make sure that I get the half of this and I know, okay, there need to be six before this one cut. Otherwise I sit with little bits that don't fit into the pan and it looks messy. The secret on cutting cinnamon rolls is with a piece of thread. You don't want to go with a knife into this. It's just going to press it flat and it's going to look ugly. So there's six, there's three, just to make sure that I get one, two, three. Just measure it off like that. It just makes it easier. Slide it under and just pull it. And then we're going to pack this deliciousness in the pan there okay slice it under and just pull it over here they are all ready to go into the oven for their second rise the first rise was on the bread machine cycle for an hour and a half where it mixed the dough and then it it had a first rise it's just a lukewarm oven and I'm going to put them in there for an hour so that they can have their second rise. And then I'm going to take them out and I'm going to switch the oven on and we're going to bake them. So here you can see they are nicely risen. They were in the, uh, in the low, low oven, barely on for an hour. While the cinnamon rolls are in the oven, I'm going to make the topping. It's two cups of powdered sugar, and then I'm going to do heaping, two tablespoons of cream cheese, and then two tablespoons of, I'm going to get that out, two tablespoons of heavy duty cream, splash of vanilla, and then a little bit of salt. Slowly work. Some people like their topping more liquid and some people like it more thick. This one is a, is a nice liquid um, consistency. 
until now. I don't know if I'll help myself to wait until they are ready because I feel like cinnamon roll. I'm not making any excuses for the beauty and deliciousness in this pan today. So it's time. They were in the oven for 12 minutes and the topping is ready. And I'm going to slowly pour it over the cinnamon rolls. Art is getting the first one out of the pan. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now let's see. Breaking her open. There we go. I'm going to take a bite of this one. Don't tell my low carb friends yet. So go take your kitchen by storm and surprise your family with this beautiful recipe. I'm leaving the recipe in the description box below. Thank you.